Hello everyone, my name is Lena Mozoner and I am the founder of AlphaMind Method and also AlphaMind Application. So today is December 3rd and uh, it's 2018 and I am now here in California and it's winter but it's not that cold here at all. It's pretty nice and warm and not that sunny. Um, I've spent uh, almost 20 years in New York City and now I live here in California, but I share my time between New York and California and also Russia. So some of you already know me, some of you are meeting me for the first time, but um, today I wanna talk a little bit about um, self-hypnosis and how, how, how what, what is it and how, how does it work? Um, clients often ask me about um, hypnosis too. How does hypnosis work? Will I um, be able to get out of hypnosis and so on and so forth? There's so many questions about hypnosis, but we'll talk a little bit about self-hypnosis today because I think it's important to be able to um, program yourself, right? Um, to, to hypnotize yourself, but some of us don't really know how to do it. So you need relaxation techniques for that. But most importantly, you need programs. So you have to know what program to create and how to create to download it into your mind. Of course, it's affirmations. They have to be positive, but it's not enough. So you really have to dig so deep within yourself to uncover these, um, um, you know, sometimes I call them mental viruses, like thought viruses, those, the limiting belief, it's a very popular uh, phrase today, right? A limiting belief, certain kind of mindset, hindering mindset that you want to reframe, rewrite, but you need to know what this is in order to start rewriting. So now self-hypnosis is, as just as it sounds, it's self-hypnosis, it's auto-suggestion. So you, you, you can use self-hypnosis uh, techniques, uh, self-hypnosis relaxation techniques, right? I'm not going to teach you, teaching you some of them. Um, the basic simple one would be to close your eyes and, uh, for example, start scanning your body, kind of creating a progressive relaxation, right? From, 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 the, from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes, you become aware of your body, um, kind of like a... Uh, uh, vipassana meditation maybe you some of you know what vipassana meditation is it's it's the mental scan right slowly scanning every part of your body and as you do that what you what you're what you're doing is you're detaching yourself from thinking right you're focusing on awareness you're enhancing awareness of every single part of your body and you create that state state of thoughtlessness hence openness to suggestion what is suggestion Suggestion is really information. It's an incoming information. And suggestion can be communicated in words. It can be communicated to you through gestures, through um, music, through certain sounds, through facial expressions even. So it's, it's really information, right? Um, um, information such as um, you're now a non-smoker. Right, this this is a verbal uh, suggestion, or um, you can do it. You, you can do it. You're, you're you're capable of doing this. So somebody can communicate this to you through uh, words, or they can stand in such a way, confidently looking at you like your mentor or your parent, and they can really give you that information almost telepathically, right? Just by just believing in you, and you can have a deep connection with that person, right? So that's that's the way to communicate information. There's so many ways. Uh, sometimes you can, you can communicate it through um, uh, body language and, and gestures. So information, suggestion is information, right? Um, for the sake of being simple and um, result-oriented, um, we are going to focus on verbal suggestions, which is affirmations, positive affirmations. And let's say we're going to work on, let's say, fear of driving, right? If you're driving, um, something that I used to have uh, for some time. And when you work with the fear of driving, um, my thought was that it's too much, it's too complicated. Um, I can't do it, I'm not capable, right? 
I know it now because I've dug so deep to understand what this was all about, right? I was just feeling a kind of like a stupor, like it was a fog for me, right? And I tried to understand what is it about? And of course, there's a, a longer story there, which I'm not going to uh, talk about right now. It's unnecessary. I'm going to write about it more in my blog and my book, my upcoming book. But um, to keep it short and simple, um, the, the, the mindset was focused on, you know, incapability um, and disbelief in myself. And also um, um, not allow myself to stay focused, right? So I, I thought that it was too hard, right? It was just not for me, right? So I had to rework that. And I rewrote that program where I said to myself, it's easy to drive, I'm super focused, I'm capable, I can, and I want to drive. Because I also had this kind of um, um, unwillingness to drive. It was something that I've been postponing for some time. And uh, I've hypnotized myself to want to drive. You want to drive. It's exciting to drive. You're capable. It's easy. You can do mm -hmm. it. You stay focused. So I've given myself those affirmations. And it worked. I've created the self-hypnosis audio program. I've listened to it for 10 days. And then I was on the road driving. So now I'm driving freely. So that's just my own personal experience. You can do the same thing. So pick an area that you'd like to change or improve. Maybe you want to ask for a raise. Maybe maybe, maybe you work in a, in, a, in a corporate environment and you want to ask your boss for a raise, but you feel unsure, you feel like maybe you're not worth it. Maybe it's not time, right? So I'm just giving you some examples, right? The story behind that. Um, inability to ask for a raise. So ask yourself, what am I really thinking about myself when it comes to this issue? I'm not good enough uh, or it's not time, maybe, I'll, maybe it's not today, um, he will reject me, he'll say no. So these are the type of things that could be going through your mind, right? Rewrite them. Um, he will say yes. Um, I'm worth it. I'm, I'm worth the raise. I'm confident about asking for a raise. I want to speak to my boss. I connect to my boss confidently. My boss is willing to give me a raise. My boss gives me a raise because I deserve it. So this is just the examples, right? So that's self-hypnosis. It's very easy. Um, Use this technique that I just taught you, the, the, the awareness technique, right? The self-awareness to, to um, establish the state of receptivity and then work with your affirmations. I usually suggest um, five to 10 good affirmations. You can record your uh, self-hypnosis on your phone, right? Uh, with five to 10 affirmations or, or are you ready? You can download the app, which I have created called Alpha Mind, and it's coming up very, very soon. So you can use that application to help you hypnotize yourself. You can choose uh, relaxation techniques, and then you can choose affirmations from our library. If we don't have what you need, you create your own. I just, I have just used my own application to create a self-hypnosis audio program because I have a bit of a um, I'm working on one project and, and I've been kind of postponing it, postponing it, I don't have time or I'll do it tomorrow. So I hypnotized myself to do it and I gave myself a, a, um, a number of affirmations, 10 good affirmations to help me get on that project. So I just did it yesterday and I'm going to listen to it for 10 days and I'll let you know how it works. Um, you, you're going to see that project coming. So that's it. That's what you need to do. Write good affirmations and use Alpha Mind. If you, if you don't want to use Alpha Mind, I'll teach you how to create self hypnosis audios. You, you can do it on, on your phone. Um, now, I have to go because my workshop is starting in about 20 minutes right here in La Jolla in California. I have people coming, so I have to get going. Uh, but if you go to alphamindmethod.com and sign up for a newsletter, you'll receive some complimentary audio programs and we will notify you when the application is ready to be released in stores. So I hope you enjoyed this um, 
discussion um, and if you have any questions if you want me to talk about something specific next time please reach out to me you can email me at um, info at alphamontmethod.com you can simply go to alphamontmethod.com go to contact form and send me your questions and uh, I will sure to address your question and I'll see you next time bye bye